the Flames. Red, trimmed, and gold and white. The game underway with Kurt Fraser dumping the puck into the Calgary zone. It tips to Gordine right in front for Sneal. He scores! Stan Sneal, eight seconds into the game. Balderell, backhands it in. Richmond might have been able to give chase, but he hung back. With only three men out there for the Flames, that must be uppermost in Brisbane's mind. Now, Vancouver tries to set it up again. Alinka shooting the score. I believe it was deflected in front of the goal. Looks like Thomas Gradines tipped it in in front of the net on that big shot from that wrist shot from Alinka at the point. There steers that to Neil Belland as the Flames change. Belland up the boards to Lupul. Put some zip in the Canucks attack. Good left wing pass. Williams up score. Tiger Williams. And here comes the shuffle. A kiss on the stick <laughs> from the Tiger. Well, if you pick that play up back at the blue line, you'll see a fella that I've often said and a lot of people say can't skate in the National Hockey League. Got by Bella. Well, Bratton gave it a camel as the debris comes from the stands. Here's the two-on-one Vancouver. Hey, don't look at the three. Gradine scores! Well, that was a tremendous play. From the right point, Elderbrink. Left point, Bellin. For, for Darcy Rota. Smeal from back of the net. Alinka scores! the line. Shot is deflected to the corner. Williams runs into Bozak in the corner. The puck goes loose. Comes back to the line. Shot by Campbell. He scores! Colin Campbell with a drive from the point. And you almost had a feeling that was going to happen. How often have we seen that one team just controls the whole play and a two-on-two -two situation for the Kings. Broken up at the line. The puck goes against the boards and is cleared to center eye. Lead pass for Gradine. Hit shot. They score! Lassard had it momentarily and it dribbled out of his glove. And it's tied with 45 seconds left in the second period. A big goal by the Canucks. Tried to play it back to the point, but the Canucks dump it out and they break with Howard. In across the line, trying to go around Hardy. Howard 
the shot from a sharp angle. And Lazar shouldn't grab they score. It was dug out and fired into the far side. Stan Smith back to the line. Campbell with the drive. He scores. Colin Campbell. He started it for Vancouver, and Campbell gets the winner with a drive from the line. The face-off done, something that the LA Kings have been very proficient in. They lose it this time, and Colin Campbell, his second goal of the game, ends it. And the Canucks have to go back into their own zone to regroup. Snaps now for Vancouver. A long shot into the corner. Picked up there by Wells. He played along the boards. Boulder has got it. He scores! Boulder have as the Los Angeles Kings were guilty of playing it carelessly in their own zone. And of when it occurs in the game, and you and I have disagreed on that in the past, however. They score from the faceoff, the Vancouver Canucks. That's the second faceoff now that the Canucks got and has resulted in the goal. The overtime last night. Good check there as Jan has been uh, all over the ice. Now it's Boulderad on the left side. Williams with the drive, he scores! What a shot. Watch Williams go now. <laughs> oh, I don't think the fans are going to appreciate that little bit of hot dogging. But that shot done against Mario Lassard. Now the break being chased by Mike Murphy. Now the Canucks come back. Across the line, pass for Rhoda. Rhoda waiting, shooting, scoring! What a move by Rhoda as he waited and waited. And Lassard came way out and he went around him and picked the far side. Did that hit the net? But down by Hardy. Bolderap brings it back to Snap. Over to Bellin. Bellin ahead. Williams for Bolderap. Shot score! Play by Jim Nill. Boy, did he thread the needle on that one. And a big, big goal for the Vancouver Canucks. On two. Nichols. Shoot. Rudeau made a good save on a fine rush by Young Nichols. Bellin to Luke. Do knock that puck in the net. A shot. decision he has to make and uh, you know it's easy for us to second guess up here but he's the guy that's in a position he has to make that decision. Darcy Rhoda just failed to get that breakaway pass gets the puck puts it in front. Darcy Rhoda scores from the corner and it's four to two. Well all I can say is how lucky can you be and over the years the thing I heard most and I'm sure you did it. And the crowd 16,413 plus is chanting, go, Canucks, go. Gradine shot. Hit the sword, and Gradine took a heavy hit. The Leafs puck and start. They score! Chris Fraser. And Thomas Gradine is injured. Gradine hurt back of the net. Detour drops it to Hutchison. Hutchison to Starfleet. He's checked by Colin Campbell. And the Canucks come to center, led by Gradine. Around Hutchison. You destroy the Thomas Redeem walked in on the left side, made a fancy move to beat Hutchison, and slapped it by Esposito. Liner back to Lindgren, a drive. That's deflected off Wilson just wide. Now Savard trying to clear it. Snaps held it in. Harold Snaps shoots one. Esposito the save. Neal shoots. He scores! Jim Neal has one game one of this series.
for the Vancouver Canucks on a rebound. And the Canucks in two overtime periods on a goal by Jim Neal. The boards into the center ice area. Smeal for Vancouver. Long drive scores! From the blue line, and the Vancouver Canucks are right back in it. I had to uh, kind of snicker to myself because from the truck, our director, Larry Brown, said, let's have a look at Stan Smeal. I think we may have That's another better. penalty coming up as well. <laughs> oh, look at this. Roger Nielsen has a towel. He's waving the white flag. And I think that may have resulted in Myers reacting. Players sitting on the bench now holding up those towels. And then they connect. Harry, Roger Nielsen is being ejected from the game. Nielsen is heading for the dressing room to a chorus of moves. He gets an appreciative pat from his goaltender, Richard Brodeur. Rhoda back to the point. Oh, and Bellin almost misread the play and lost it. But it's played by Halinka at the right circle. Holds and controls. Hawks in the box. They've got the Patterson. There's a cross ice pass. Score! By Berdeen. By Berdeen. That's the Vancouver Canucks at 11.31 with his third playoff goal. Well, just a fantastic play. They have Gardner out there along with Feimster, Fox. There's a shot from the point well wide of the net. As Patterson cut off the angle. Played out to the left point. They have Belland up the middle. There's Neil Belland, a rookie from Kings. Drive! Score! Center tries to play through to Doug Wilson. The Hawks a little scramble at center race. Back comes Vancouver. Fraser left circle. Goal! Let's it go to Secord behind the net. Al gets it back along the right boards. There's Savard with a drive, and he whistled it wide and long. And out at center race on a clean breakaway. And goes Neal. Shot. seconds into this first period. No score. Vancouver with a man advantage. Halinka with the puck. Back to Neil Bellin. Bellin put it in front. Takes the shot for Bolderev. Rhoda trying to center it. It comes back to the line. Over to Moline. Moline back to the other side. Bellin with a drive. He scores! That was deflected in front. It looked like Jim Mill was just to the side of the net. 
He can motor once he starts. There's the drive, and it hits the defender in front of the net. And the penalty coming up against Secor. In comes Shakar. And Kumi, they score! Stan Smale on a delayed penalty call. A delayed penalty was being called on Al Secor as on Dennis Savard. And there will be some line juggling going on through the course of this hockey game. Dumped down the ice. Here's a two-on-one for Vancouver. Moline moving in. Scores! Oh, what a move. What a move by Moline. He had Tiger Williams for the decoy. I think likely, Gary, Tiger Williams made that play happen as well as Moline. Tried to pick it up off the boards. It was cleared up along the boards by Roger. And into the center ice area, another two-on-one. Rhoda with Lindgren. And he scores! Rhoda got the puck back again after Brown had made the initial save. The defenseman managed to knock it off his stick, I believe, for Fox as he goes to the corner. Knocked off the puck by Bellin. Up along the boards and into the center ice area. Gradine for Smeal. Slap shot, score! And that might just do it. It's 5-2. to two. What a drive by Stan Smeal. His second goal of the game. And I really believe that hit one of the defensemen. It's away by Campbell. On the boards. Patterson trying to center it. Here's a chance for the Canucks. Bolderav breaks out with Rhoda. Bolderav gets it. Scores! He faked the shot to Darcy Rhoda. And took the shot. Got the rebound again. Now what they're singing now is New York, New York. Here we come. Now, Tiger Williams going back in his own zone, ragging it, killing off the time, looking at the clock. Tiger doing a little, a little jig in the corner, and that will do it as the Vancouver Canucks knock off the Chicago Blackhawks 6-2. to two. And naturally, they mob their diminutive goaltender, Richard Rodeur, 10 feet tall throughout the playoffs for the Vancouver Canucks. And he'll be going against his former teammates in two days in the Stanley Cup final. Et la traditionnelle échange de poignée de main, même si on n'est pas fier chez les perdants. Et le trophée de la conférence Clarence Campbell, remis au capitaine des Canucks. Brittany coming back in. Brittany shot. And Billy Schmidt, let me tell you, had to be careful and get that hand out quickly. First stop of the game. And the Canucks are out of the game. They score! Billy Schmidt stumbled, went down, and these Vancouver Canucks continue to surprise. One minute and 29 seconds into the first game of the final in Vancouver. Picky with a one nothing lead. Back near the line. From there, Moline gets set. Decides to pass it back to Gradeen. Gradeen to Moline. At the line, shot. In a leg in front. They score! It bounced in behind Billy Smith, and Gradeen was there again to knock it in, and it's tied at two. Thomas Gradeen has had a super first period. But a 10 seconds left in the penalty. They're in over the line. The long shot blocked by Langevin. He can't clear it now. He kind of booted out. And put the Canucks coming in front. Score! A harmless-looking shot by Steele. And it just went along the ice on the stick side of Billy Smith. Wayne Sutter couldn't clear it. Now comes in front. And Williams got back there as Goring was knocked to the ice. And the Canucks are away. Boulder out. He's coming in. Boulder out. Great play. Scores. Boulder out. Every so often you see this wizard with the stick handling. And he went right through. And you saw it. It was a beautiful effort. It's tied. Cut back, but knock it loose, and Morrow has to go back. That's Williams chasing him. Williams bumping over there on the boards. Right in front of the net, they score! Jim Nail got loose, and he appeared, Nicky, to lose control of it, but nobody cares. It crossed the line, and it slapped at it. Into the corner, Fraser. Fraser off the board, winds up. 
Frazier doesn't shoot it. On a bad angle, it can't shoot it now. At the line. There's the drive. Deflected. He scores. A shot from the blue line by Moline. It was deflected in front of the net, and it's tied at one. And there's Vancouver trying to get the go-ahead goal now. That colder end pushed around a bit. Got it back, though, to Hallward. Hallward past the other side. Here's Bolderad. Goes! Bolderad set up from the other side, and he ripped it off. Billy Smith and the Canucks, in fact, do get the go-ahead goal. And now the Canucks have an opportunity. The three of them come down. Lindgren dropped it back. And now in is Verdeen. Verdeen got right in. Played it back of the net. Smith was out. Three up. He scored. Beautiful play by Gradeen. And you talk about cool. Boy, I'll tell you, that is textbook hockey, Mickey. Gradeen making all the moves. And finally, Lindgren Paul knocks it down. Played it back in. And he was fell. Vancouver led by Williams. Lost it a high one in for Miner. Going in. Miner shoots goal. Oh, Miner. Allowed to walk in there. And he let one fly. That full Billy Smith. And again, it's tied at four. Mickey. Campbell trying to center it. And the Islanders defend so well around their territory. Campbell shot. What?